Good morning, welcome to channel 48. How are you doing on this beautiful rainy Monday morning here in the Netherlands? A great day to upgrade the P7500 tablet that I got from my friend Mark. So thumbs up and a shout out to Mark from Markplaats. Jawel. And today it's about the Samsung Galaxy 10.1 these kinds of tablets but then uh, the models P7510 the P7500 that's this one the P4 okay and the uh, P4 TMO so there is something that you must know um, the SGH T859 that is the P4 Atmo that's the code name uh, the GTP7500 that is the P4, the code name is P4, and uh, the 7510 is the P4 Wi Fi. This thing has 3G, really. So, um, if you're still on the official firmware, then you will have a thing like this Android 3. It's very old Android. This is gingerbread, uh, ging gingerbread, I think, or ice. What is it? I don't even know. It's it's saying Android 3. So, but it's not about what's on the device. It's in fact what you should do to upgrade it to Android 7.12. Well, of course, you can as well install Android 8. But it's going to be more to impress your friends to show, hey, I have Android 8 on my tablet, you know. But then the cam don't work. And uh, I mean, the cam doesn't work. The, uh, how you say that the several things don't work you have Wi-Fi you have sound of course these things work but the 3g is not working um, I mean the the sim card thing is not working and 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 the camera is not working and I think if you have a device like this you still want to use this you know maybe you want to bring it with you and, and pop in your 3G card or your, your card where you have some deal, you know, that you can via that card go on the internet, some 3G deal. These days it's 4G, not sure if 3G is still around, but uh, it's not all about that. Of course, it's about what you must do to upgrade this tablet. Because these are three versions of this tablet. We have even more models. We even have this tablet, but then it's called the Espresso Wi-Fi and the Espresso 3G. And then we're talking about the models 5100, P5100 and the P, I think, 5110. I have that tablet, by the way. So, knowing that, we have about five different types of tablets that look just the same. You won't see from the outside or, or you know, that it's a different tablet they are all the same well this one has a sim card slot i can see or maybe this is the the yeah micro sd slot i'm not even sure i never checked it out yet so what will you need you will need a computer that has the samsung usb drivers installed you will need a tool called Arden, and you will need the specific twerp file to upgrade this device I'm, I'm explaining it kind of you know good and simple and maybe a little bit slow uh, because we also have people that are in fact following my projects and they are you know starters so then I can start using all sorts of expensive words to impress these people but I think that is kind of stupid right everybody should be able to understand this review so I'm doing it in my own way if it's kind of too slow for you find another video okay let's get started okay there we are so we have the tablet you will need the cable of the tablet okay and the cable of this tablet is a very special cable. It looks like the old iPhone 4G and 4S 
cables, the iPad 1 and 2 cables, but it's not. We're gonna pop in the cable and say tum tum. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the tablet. Uitschakelen. Yeah, maybe we can as well remove the cable for the moment. I hope you can see anything. Yep, you can see me and you see the, the tablet. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we need to go into a download mode. How to do a thing like that? You're gonna press, okay, now it's turned off. You're gonna press power on. And when you see the logo, you hit the volume up. You see that? And now you can see that we have two tabs and to confirm the download, uh, in my previous video, the 7510, from a friend that I in fact upgraded, uh, I could not use the power button. Let's see if with this it's possible to use the power button to confirm what we would like to use. Here we go into a recovery and this, I messed up. What did I do? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna reboot the system. Okay, the power button works. So we're gonna reboot. So when we see the logo, we hit the volume up. Volume up. And there we are in download. And with uh, volume down, I think you confirm. So I, there you go. You see that? With volume down, you confirm. And then with volume up again. What did I do? Oh gosh, I went out it. So volume up, recovery, and then volume down. And volume up is continue. So in fact, the volume up is, is, is this one. It's not volume down, but it's volume up. So now we are in an actual download mode. So now we're gonna connect the cable again. Okay, and I will try to put the tablet in a way so you can kind of see it as well. Uh, these things are so big, huh? <laughs> They're so big. Okay, this, this should do. I'm gonna do the complete process with you so you can understand the procedure and you can always get back to me if there's any problem or question, you know? Of course, I'm not responsible for you breaking your device, but I don't think you're gonna break your device if you do exactly what I'm showing you. Okay, though. So I told you that we needed the Samsung USB drivers to be installed on this machine, on, on the computer you're gonna do it. I'm doing this under Windows 7, and in 10 years from now, I will still do it with Windows 7, okay? Um, I, I'm, I never did any flashing on, on the Windows 8 uh, or, or even 10 after i you know killed one of my phones and the thing just died on me there because windows had to do something else while i was busy you know so i i don't depend on operating systems that kill my devices so i i'm on windows 7 okay though this machine has all the drivers that i need it has the usb drivers it has uh, Arden, it has the the adb drivers so this is my repair machine so I'm gonna hit up Arden. This is Arden version 3.11. And here you can see that the COM port 7 is, is on, okay? Because this tablet, in fact, has no uh, um, removable uh, cover that we can kick out the battery, we will have to flash this just a little bit different so we don't get into into annoying little problems that recoveries will be replaced. So we're gonna first go to AP, and then we're gonna browse for the file that we just downloaded. We're gonna find the twerp, and we're gonna load it. The twerp is now loaded. Be careful, now we're gonna hit Options, that is the second tab beside Log, and we're gonna turn off Auto Reboot. You know why? Because it's gonna reboot, and then you must be very quick to then, you know, go into the recovery. So we're not gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put you like this. So you can see the tablet a little bit. Okay, there is the tablet. And now we're gonna hit start. Let's see what's gonna happen. 
we see a little blue line there boom and you can see the twerp is flashed so what we're now gonna do we're gonna remove the cable yeah and we're gonna hold down the volume and the hold down of the volume it seems that that this tablet that this is volume down and this is volume up you see that this is volume up and this is volume down okie doke alrighty so we're gonna hit the power and the volume down like this until it goes off and now we boot it on again and we now hit the volume up and there you can see recovery and download mode and with volume down this one here we're gonna go to recovery and with volume up we're gonna select to go and confirm to go into the recovery this should bring us into work and if not then i'm very very mistaken here you can see ladies and gentlemen we just installed twerp you see that amazing yeah so now twerp is installed this is a custom recovery yeah what you first saw the first one that we booted into the very first time that was the stock recovery the difference between uh, a stock recovery and a custom recovery is that with a custom recovery you can install uh roms very easy you can do a backup of your of your complete existing uh, uh installation so if i wanted to keep this this uh, jelly what is it uh, gingerbread that this thing is running then i would go to backup and i can you know select all these things and and make a system image uh, from from it but i don't want to do any of that okay so what i now need to do is to find out if we can mount this device we disable the MTP and we enable it and what is Windows saying is Windows giving us this tablet as you can see this tablet is not being found by Windows and it's not being found by Windows because we never connected the cable. <laughs> so now the cable is connected and what will Windows say? If we hit mount, it's installing the drivers. There you can see it. It's installing driver software. Sometimes it will, yeah, it will not go the way it should. And that's going to say, driver was could not be installed. So you must be prepared for these things. I think it installed it. And then we should as well see the device. But of course, we don't see it. Okay. So I'm going to disable MTP and enable MTP. Let's see. It's still installing driver. <sighs> nou ja, hey, um, yeah. uh, doei. I'm tired of these stupid computers. Sorry for that, ladies and gentlemen, but I just cannot stand, you know, computers that are, you know, all the time looking for things. But I have these files on here too as well. Okay. There we go. It's coming, it's coming. Oh, thank you, my darling. Okay, let me see if I already downloaded these files. No. 
downloads it must be in my downloads here it is aosp aosp 7.1 for the p4 this is for the p4 atmo and this is for the p4 wi-fi i'm gonna now uh what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna at this point uh mod the roms real fast okay i'm gonna give them uh yeah, I must think about what I'm gonna create, okay? And whenever that is done, we're gonna flash the system. So I'll be right back. 30 minutes later, I decided to use my Mac phone mod for this tablet. Okay, though, welcome back. I did what I had to do, all right? And I just connected the tablet, and here you can see that the internal storage just opened. And is this the tablet? Is this really the tablet? Here you can see it. Yes, it is. It's the P4. You see that? It's saying P4. So what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to grab the ROM that I just created and I called it uh, the MacTap. Rom Nougat, okay, developed by Dcat F and modded by Pukrom in September 2019. So I'm gonna copy that file to the internal storage of the device. So yeah, I'm happy that the MTP works in the yeah in the recovery. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna do a simple wipe yeah just a wipe boom like this all right and then we're gonna go to install and we're gonna try the rom that i just modded and see if it works and there we go the installing just started okay We are there! Eh, eh, I was talking so much, I love you! Oh my god! Bonjour! Bonjour! Ça va? Oh, 
vous êtes très belle. This is the cam. This is the cam. Hello, of course, hello. Are you crazy? Of course, hello. Oh, bonjour, ma chérie, vous êtes très belle. Ok, Wi-Fi. Turn on Wi-Fi to some available networks. And there are the networks. Let me connect. Okay, there's another problem. We don't see the keyboard popping up. Just hit this little thing here. Show virtual keyboard. You see that? You must turn that on. So there in the corner, you're gonna see the little keyboard. You see that there? Don't, don't, don't panic, eh? Okay? Okay. I just typed the password. Obtaining IP address. And, uh, yeah, this is it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You just upgraded your tablet. And it feels very nice. It's 7.12. Um, yeah. Look at see that so yeah that is all that's to it it was not so hard to do i think right and uh, because this is a mac model device we're gonna go long press and then to settings and then uh, we will go to look and feel and set the icon systems to we could set it to mac cat that is in fact a new icon pack that I created with modern icons of the Mac system, kinda. It's not exactly the same icons, but hey, they look a whole lot. I think the developers of these icons they did their best, you know. So that's why I'm using it as well. The Safari icon looks really nice. The app icon, the, you see that the camera icons, the context icon, really lovely 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 oh i already had it there on the desktop so i'm gonna remove it oh, how to remove remove like that and every icon you can change around so that is as well very very lovely uh, you have a phone so you can put in your sim card in this device so yeah that was as well very good but as you can see there is no phone oh here is the phone of course there's a phone here is the phone and the phone was as already on the desktop so we're gonna remove that one and yeah i'm a little bit uh, in doubt now about the camera the camera should work uh dcat f said it works and if he says something then that's how it is okay um camera i'm just gonna put the camera here if possible yeah you see that you can put a bunch of uh, applications here you have some google applications but these will be empty okay because there are no google applications in here we didn't have no permission from google to put any application in here if you understand what i'm saying i mean from gaps and then you can say yeah you can use open gaps but still then you're using uh you're using the Google applications without you having a deal with Google to do so. You see? Then you yourself must make an application towards YouTube. Just like how these guys from Parafron did. And they did it in a real nice way. So it does not harm the platform. So when you're gonna click a video and some advertisements should start playing, then it's it it will it will play fine. Stop that. It will play fine you see that you have uh, a great video player you can watch youtube videos uh, but you can as well watch ARD mediatek i push that into my linux distros and as well into my android distributions it's a kind of protest against my own national public tv these guys are pimping the users you know guys that don't have google services installed cannot use npo as you can see my german people they are not like that you know these these guys they make tv and they want people to watch their tv they are not like we make tv but uh, if you want to watch us you must first watch three advertisements that you cannot skip 
And then when the advertisements are done playing, then it's saying could not play this live stream, you know? So then they got you and then you hit it again to try again. Then four advertisements will start playing. That is what my national public uh, uh, broadcast is doing here in the Netherlands. And that's why I'm going, I'm, I'm you know, pushing as a Dutchman, uh, the Germans to my rums and to my, to my distros. Because these are pun punctual people. Punklich. You know? You cannot watch every film on there. Some will be copyright protected, but then they're going to show you copyright, you know? But the normal broadcast is out there. The news is out there. If I go to Suriname and I want to watch the Dutch news, I cannot. Because, you know, my, my national public uh, uh, from the Netherlands is going to say, your IP, blah, blah, blah. So you are not allowed to watch. Get, get out of here and go get a big one. That while it's national public, you know, uh, uh, broadcast. And now they are crying that, uh, you know, uh, they need more money to keep, to keep people that work there that make money. So much money, you know, it's unbelievable how much these guys get paid, you know. And then, you know, they want to pay these guys even more. I mean, like people, if you want to work at the national public station and you get popular, then in fact, yeah, you should not, in fact, you should not then go to another station that's going to pay you more. In fact, you know, just to abuse the system of NPO. So in fact, I'm with NPO. I love that 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 station, but I'm also pissed off with 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 the way how they, you know, uh brought uh NPO to up to a level where it cannot be used uh, without Google Play services installed anymore. It's not being pushed to Kodi anymore. We cannot watch anything in Kodi. That while this is national public, you know, I don't understand these things only in the Netherlands. Normally we say only in Russia, but this is only in Netherlands this is happening. Where national public station TV can pimp off their viewers in the name of, 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 of whoever is, is backing them up there with that, with that nonsense. That's why I don't push their, their application anymore to my, to my uh, system. And I even stopped watching them. That's, that's how pissed I got. Okay, you see, it uh, it's not really scanning too good because it needs a reboot. So we're just gonna do a reboot. We do a soft reboot. We have this menu and recovery all built in now. This became one beautiful tablet, guys, uh, that you can uh, and ladies, of course, of course, my ladies, uh, that you can use in 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 any way. Even now in 2019, keep using it. Uh, leave Dicat F a nice little message for me. You know, send him some love. Make him feel good. If you have, you know, credit card, send him some some PayPal. You know, support him. Let him feel that his work his works are appreciated and that you love whatever he did. You know, and uh, I'm already doing that with this video. And this is my my support to to whatever he did to make an even more functional rom for normal people and for those that love it you know um, and give it a yeah i dressed it a bit gifted it a boot animation made it something more you know but don't forget this all was still developed by dcat f and by nobody else Okay, so all credits, even for this, what you see, all this beauty and all this pretty is with credits to DCAT F. Because without DCAT F, I would not be able to do this. It's very important to understand. Okay, so yeah, leave this video a thumbs up if you love the works of DCAT F and this, this all what it became and the complete tutorial of how to do it. And then I say, uh, go play with the system. Uh, I would not install Google apps onto it. You know, don't spoil the device. You have two app stores in here, APK Pure, and uh, this is the uh, the e uh, uh, the e store. I'm now as well pushing the e store to my mods because I love the company e, and you know I want their store to to run. So. Um, I'm not even sure if Bliss Launcher, yes, it's in here. I'm not sure if it's gonna install, probably it will not install. I don't think it's gonna install. 
could but could also not. That's correct and if it could or could not you will find out whenever you're gonna install this ROM. Tja, lovely yeah? So we did it, we upgraded the, the, the tablet from Android 3 all the way to Android 7.12 and yeah maybe very maybe in the in the in the near future you know the Android 8 will get even better and um, maybe the cat F will you know work continue to work on it um, he did not do too much these last months so I hope that everything is okay with him you know I'm, I'm sure that he will love this video because I love it as well I love the rum and tja, if if there's anything wrong with the cat F I want to know because his last his last upload of this rum was somewhere in March April May June July August September six months we didn't hear from him so that's why you know use use this firmware and enjoy your your tablet it's a good tablet again um, you even have a firewall built in so if you want to you know make a real closed system you can you will have to gain root do that with magisk i did not see check yet how to do it i might do it later these days and then i will update that as well in the you know in the description sure so that's it ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you for watching if this video helped out leave it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you did not already and then yeah i see you in my next video again until then uh this room by the way will be available for all the three devices so all the three devices will have the same look and feels um i mean these three models they all have specific roms so in fact you're gonna find three links uh, especially for your device uh, under this video and of course three links now one link to the xda where you will as well find the links to the original files um, for this device or for your model of the device and the twerp you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna host the twerp as well uh, on my on my I, I will bundle the twerp i will sip the rum let me think what i'm gonna do no i can better not do that i will put the twerp uh, i will upload the twerp separately from the roms so the twerp will as well get a link make sure to first get the twerp the Audin and the samsung usb drivers you will have to install yourself you know go go to google type samsung usb drivers download you get to a Samsung site, download the USB drivers, install them, okay? Audin is very simple. Just type Audin latest version download. Then you're going to find the Audin website. Go for the newest, look by date, you know, select the, the latest of the latest version and go ahead and open it. Put your phone into a download, I mean your device into a download mode and find out if that little blue light, the COM port is connected. If that is all good, then you're ready to go. And I think that if you follow these steps that I showed you in this video, you cannot fail. And if you fail, then probably it was bad luck. So good luck and see you in the next video.